Myelofibrosis is a form of blood cancer. Uh, it is classified under the big umbrella of myeloproliferative neoplasms. But myelofibrosis specifically is characterized by scar formation in the bone marrow. Uh, and the other disease features are severe anemia, uh, sometimes can become transfusion dependent, uh, massive splenomegaly and hepatomegaly, uh, these are massive enlargements of the spleen and the liver, uh, as well as severe constitutional symptoms. Uh, fatigue, night sweats, bone pain, itching. Uh, and this is how the disease expresses itself. The drug imetalastat is a new form of drug. Uh, you probably have heard about JAK inhibitors um, uh, and uh, epigenetics modifying drugs. Uh, this is a completely new class. The function of telomeres, uh, although most uh, scientists uh, endorse the view uh, that it helps repair uh, telomeres, which are the small uh, ends of chromosomes, uh, is probably more complex than this. It probably has uh, additional role uh, in uh, uh, mitochondrial uh, uh, and other functions. Uh, and whatever it is, uh, appears to be important for cancer cell growth. So by inhibiting telomeres, uh, what we're attempting to do is stifle uh, the uh, mechanism of uh, cell growth uh, and therefore get rid of the cancer. Uh, and that's what imetalastase does. So what we're trying to accomplish here is actually uh, get some remissions. Uh, because it has been very, very difficult to get remissions in myelofibrosis. There's a lot of drugs uh, like JAK inhibitors that can only um, alleviate symptoms. They make you feel better, they make the night sweats go away, they make the itching go away, but uh, it doesn't make the cancer go away. They don't affect the scar in the bone marrow. They don't affect uh, selectively the growth of the cancer cells. Uh, they don't affect the molecular uh, marker of the cancer cell, all they do is mask the symptoms and obviously the patients in time will lose uh, their uh, response and they progress into leukemia and die. Uh, so what we're trying to attempting to do this is come up with drugs that can actually modify the natural history of the disease and, and get remissions. That's what we were attempting to do with this drug.